Hanzo, uh, Gracie, welcome back to Abu Dhabi. Good to be legend. here with you guys, my pleasure. Uh, you've been here since the beginning. Uh, tell us a little bit your thoughts about the 10th edition. It's been uh, a long time. It's a dream coming true to see this. My grandfather always dreamed to see Jiu-Jitsu on this level and Abu Dhabi deliver, you know? It's, uh, it's amazing, what amazing ride. And it's amazing to see Jiu-Jitsu growing as much as been growing. And I see Jiu-Jitsu in the Olympics soon, thanks to these guys. So uh, you've, been, you've been in competitions all around the world. How do you see the UAE JJF initiative and the Abu Dhabi World Pro fit in the Jiu-Jitsu world? I honestly think this is one of the best well-organized competition. The level of competitors, the organizations, the administration of the whole process of for you to leave your country and to get here, it's amazing, you know? They really do a pristine job, a level, a class one job. It's amazing. And uh, as you know, this year they had the uh, Jiu-Jitsu Festival going on and then the Abu Dhabi World Pro and they have a great addition, which is the King of Mats. What are your thoughts on that? I think they keep evolving, they keep making better. And with the King of Mets, it's gonna be, it's unpredictable, unbelievable fighters getting together and, and I'm so excited, I can't wait to watch this one. Now, who do you think will be the first King of Mets this year? I, uh, you know, I root for everyone, but Galvão is in the house, Gianni Gripo is in the house, it's gonna be very interesting to watch. Great, great. Uh, we've seen your academy growing like day by day, you have Gordon Ryan, Gary Tonin made his MMA debut and uh, one of your little guys, Nicky Ryan, had a big, big competition against Gio Martinez. Tell me a little bit about uh, Gary Tonin's uh, MMA debut and uh, Nicky's uh, win against you, Martinez. You, you, you actually you mentioned three names that are very dedicated athletes, amazing jiu-jitsu fighters. You know, Gary, Gordon and Nick, uh, they, they stay the whole day at the academy and they put a lot of sweat on it and, and they show the quality of jiu-jitsu that we teach there that we have it at the academy you know and gary did an unbelievable mma debut and for sure the, the other tools will be following soon doing this and they have represent jiu-jitsu with 100 percent heart you know and i'm glad that i i could i could proportionate the training grounds for them to evolve so do you feel like jiu-jitsu is going uh, more towards mma now that there are more competitions more money fights more trash talk. It's, I think fighting, once you start getting good, you want to test yourself. So fighting is the end result of all your hard work on this business. And, and they will make fun of each other. They will, provo they will provoke each other to, to be able to call attention for their match. That's how they became popular. If you look, uh, Gordon Ryan has been training for just four years and a half. It's going to be five years soon. So it's, it's amazing what he had achieved. You know, with a little trash talk and pushing his jiu-jitsu forward. So the, the latest trash talk in the jiu-jitsu world came from AJ Agazam. I'm sure you know this name. Oh yes, it's a great. I uh, had a chance to train with him a lot. Yeah. He's been calling out fighters and he also has some beef with 10th uh, uh, Planet, uh, Eddie Bravo and, uh, and Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, yeah, yeah. What do you think about Everybody's that? Everybody's watching this. I believe they should have got in the match and solved the problem, you know. That's what I believe. Uh, uh, the best friends I had in my life, I fought them before I, I became friends. So I wish them a great match and, and they should have tested themselves against each other. And if they, if they agree to test themselves, what do you think will be the results? I don't know, I'll tell you right after. If I, if I could predict the future, <laughs> I wouldn't be g guessing their fight. I'll be guessing the lottery ticket number. <laughs> well, talking about predicting the future, uh, What's, what's in the loop for your future? Do you, any more competitions coming yes, in? Yes, I'm looking to compete in the gi, do some special matches in the gi, you know, and I'm 51 now, but I'm looking forward to do an MMA fight and then compete in the gi for sure. And MMA, it's gonna be this year. Um, MMA fight against who? Give me a couple of names. Uh, they mentioned Walid Ismail or Yuki Kondo, so it's two good options, you know? What about, what about Kyle Sonnen? Sonic. That's a great guy, but I'm his biggest fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't, you know, I love, I, I want to see him winning. <laughs> <laughs>